Hi everyone, in this quick video we just want to show you a brief overview of the Fire TV OS that's available on some new Panasonic TVs. Uh, first and foremost, uh, when you turn on the TV for the first time, you have to go through the setup and then you will be brought to this home screen. Now the home screen kind of has three sections. If I press uh, the up button here on the home screen, uh, I am actually taken to the featured content where we can actually uh, access that content to learn more and maybe watch it through one of the available streaming services. If we scroll down, we are taken to the mid section where we have the main settings. And then if we go down, we can actually select some of the options available within that particular section. So that's how it works. Also, we can all, uh, navigate this operating system uh, with the left and right keys. And if we go all the way to the left, the first option that we have is to change or select the different profiles that we have on our account. In my case, I just have an Ethan account, um, but if I wanted to, I could go and uh, change my avatar, my name, or add a new profile if I wanted. <clears throat> Now, if we continue, the next option allows us to select the different inputs that are available on the TV. For example, we have up to four different HDMIs on this MX800 unit, but we can also select the TV signals, such as the aerial, the satellite, the composite cable, which is a little bit older, but still available uh, with some, some of our customers, and then a media player in order to play back content from a memory stick, um, that we connect to the TV. Next, we have the find option, which is really a search option that allows us to search. We also uh, have the possibility of using the microphone and the, uh, the microphone button on the remote control to use the voice search. Uh, we can also select specific types of uh, programs to search into, uh, not only programs, but also the app store and then recommended categories, okay? Next, we're back to home, which is a default option. And then my stuff is just things that you pin so you can watch later. For example, the watch list here on Amazon Prime. Next, if we scroll to the right, we have the possibility of controlling and having a look at the applications, such as the existing applications with the My Apps function, or install new applications with the Get More Apps function. Okay, going to have a closer look later. And now the last option here is our settings menu. And this is where we have the possibility to select the different inputs, enable notifications, uh, reset the TV, and many other settings. I'm not going to spend too much time going through these because we'll have a separate video that goes into more detail on every single option. All right, so that's basically a very brief overview of the Fire TV OS that's available on some new Panasonic TVs. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.